Welcome back, Stas23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and today I have an unbagging for y'all, coming from Tri-State EDC, this is a pass around knife, um, I saw this, I forgot on whose channel, and I thought it looked super cool, I think I saw it on a NAF sergeant's channel, I don't want to flip it over because his information's on the other side, and here's the package, oh, we got some swag from Mr. Tri-State, a.k.a. Coke, a.k.a. Cole. So there's his uh, swag right here. Let's check it out. His uh, awesome wife makes these, and uh, I'm going to be getting her to make me some stickers here soon when I run out. Very cool to know we have somebody in the community that we can go to, especially if you have a channel or a brand that you want to make some stickers for. Very cool. But let's get into the knife. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of this one. This is, I think it's called the Warney Tack. The Warney Tack is brought to you by custom underscore EDC underscore knives on Instagram. And uh, this is still a prototype right here. I think the OEM is Best Tech Knives, uh, or at least the last time I talked to them. I don't know if that's changed or not. So there are some changes I think that'll be made to this before the final production and pre-order. Pre I don't know when that's actually coming. If I find that out, I'll have it in the description. Um, he has a website. It's precisionknifeworksusa.com. And I'm guessing that's where the pre-order will be up. Uh, you can get on his mailing list so you know whenever uh, something drops. This thing's very light for the size of the knife. It seems like... Ooh, nice action. Seems like a nice full-size Warney right there. I love that Warncliffe blade. Nice. Uh, feels like a hollow, is it? Let's see. Can't really tell. Look, feels like a hollow. There you go. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, very, very nice. This is just an unboxing. I'll do a full review once I've carried it, and I'll ask him if I can use it, test it, whatever. Wow, the actions on on this is very, very nice, especially for such a light blade. I mean, it's not a very thick stock. It's not a very, very long blade, but uh, God, the action is very, very smooth. Uh, great blade to handle ratio. Couldn't go much further because you'd come in contact with that tip. Let's see, can you? Yep, you can thumb roll it. Can I thumb flick it as long as I keep my... Yep, as long as you keep your finger off that lock bar, but you got a lot of room because it's not cut too wide. Nice. Comfortable initial thoughts. Uh, the handle's comfortable. Uh, it's a flat scaled knife with a nice deep chamfer softening on that edges so nothing sharp. Access to the lock bar. The lock bar is flush, but I can easily get my thumb in there. I don't even have to use the side of my thumb. No, I do that all the time. Anyway, let's see. What about lefty? Oh, nice action lefty as well. Look at that nice generous sharpening uh, chawl cut in right here. You have lots of sharpening light before it starts to widen up in the back right there. Let's get a quick size comparison. We'll take these off. And we have the Ontario Rat Model 2 and the Ontario Rat Model 1. So it's right in between those two. Um, I'd say probably closer to the Rat Model One. Um, like I said, it's, it's it's a in my opinion, it's it's my sweet spot for length. I think that's an excellent size range. Um, I have a medium size. I wear a medium size glove, and well, if you choke up, you got a lot of room. But if you go in this choil area, I still have a good bit of room. So should fit your large, extra large hands. You got a nice milled titanium pocket clip. Um, let's see. Yep, got some good spring to it. It's not it's not overly stiff and it's not sitting on that lock bar. Uh, flow through construction so you can blow it out to uh, hourglass standoffs. Look at that, the milling pockets in there. Wow, I don't, I don't know if y'all can see that. I'll show it better in the full review. Wow, that's why it's so light. Very, very lightweight. It's like it's deceptively light on bearings. Um, it's definitely a blank canvas for any modding because uh, you got just a 
regular blasted titanium scale. So yeah, that is uh, the Warney Tack uh, from custom underscore EDC underscore knives on Instagram. And like I said, his website is precisionknifeworksusa.com. Definitely stay tuned uh, for the full review and maybe testing depending on whether he wants me to or not. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. If you're not following a Tri-State EDC, definitely go check his channel out. Awesome guy. Him and his wife, I got to meet them at Blade Show and they were very, very nice. Alrighty, I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.